Hey guys, I've been getting a lot of requests for this and I want to let you guys know that I finally figured out the foghorn sound. The modern foghorn sound has escaped me for a while because it is a newer sound that I hadn't had much experience with, but after hours of experimentation, I finally figured it out and I'm going to give the secrets to you today. So for those that don't know, the foghorn sound has been made famous by producers such as Benny L on his track Vanta Black, Bad Boy Selection by Voltage, and countless other producers, including Serum and Boo. It's that growly, almost Reesey sound that sounds like a foghorn. So I've been flooded with requests for this sound for a while now. So I'm gonna say if we can get 500 likes for this video, I'm gonna give away the preset for free. Now before we get into the lesson guys, I just wanna let you guys know that I run a record label called Deviant Audio and we have a 14 track album coming out next week with various artists, all my favorite artists and bass music of different styles, footwork, jungle, drum and bass, halftime. So if you're feeling it, check the link below. We also have these t-shirts with the release and you can grab that from the link below as well. I'd really appreciate it if you check it out. So without further ado, let's get into the foghorn sound. All right, so we're gonna be designing the foghorn sound with Serum and there's five basic steps. The first is to select the correct waveform and then we're gonna apply some FM modulation followed by some filter modulation. And then finally, we're gonna add some distortion and some reverb. So let's get right into it. Now the waveform that I like to use for the foghorn sound is one of the pulse width modulation waveforms. So under the wavetable selector, I'm gonna go under analog and select PWMDS. Now I'm gonna switch to the three dimensional view so I can properly select the wavetable position. Now I'm gonna Adjust the wavetable position. Somewhere around there in the middle sounds good. We want a fat sounding waveform. Now the next step is to enable oscillator B for FM modulation. Now, if you don't know anything about FM modulation, I really encourage you guys to watch my previous video about FM. It'll help you make a lot more sense about what we're doing here. And I'll have the link below for that. So we're gonna enable oscillator B, but we don't actually need to hear it since it's acting as an FM modulator. So we're gonna bring the level all the way down and we're gonna change the waveform to a basic sine wave. Now under the warp parameter here for oscillator A, we're gonna switch it to FM from B. Now before applying some FM, we're gonna change the octave of oscillator B to three here. And now we're gonna increase the FM amount under oscillator A. Around there sounds good. I'm at about 34%. Now we're gonna increase the unison mode. This is optional, but I say anywhere between one to seven will sound good. And then we're gonna adjust the blend accordingly, as well as the detune, which spreads each multiplier. Now the next step is we're gonna apply some filter modulation. So we're gonna be using a low pass filter. So enable filter and then select one of the low passes. I prefer a low pass 24, but you can try any of the others. Now we're gonna go under envelope two and we're gonna apply envelope two to need to cut off. Now let's adjust the cutoff frequency around here. And then we're gonna go under envelope two and apply the envelope to the cutoff amount. Now going back to envelope two, we're gonna bring the sustain all the way down to zero. So now we have this. We can hear the filter being modulated now. Now we don't need the filter modulation all the way at the max. So we're gonna click the horseshoe icon and drag down. So around there. So that's closer to the sound that we want. Now the next step is we're gonna go into the FX section and then we're gonna enable the distortion. Now the tube distortion works, just bring the drive all the way up. Now 
and we're getting close we just had to tweak some of the parameters but before we get to that we're going to turn on the hyper dimension and then apply some reverb give a low cut remove some of those low frequencies from the foghorn bring back some of the highs if we want you can increase the size of the reverb Okay, now let's actually put a beat on so then we can further tweak the sound with the beat. So I'm gonna play this beat here. And then let's look for a note under the serum. Let's make a uh, two bar loop for now. That works. We just want a long note so we can let that foghorn sound ride out through the beat. Now we're gonna go back into Serum and let's tweak the sound. It's already sounding pretty close, but we can adjust the filter envelope. Maybe we want a more convex shape. And maybe increase the decay a little bit. and maybe bring down that cutoff just a little so it's not too abrasive. Now one thing I've heard being done in the modern foghorn sound is to apply a little bit of attack to the envelope. So we're gonna increase the attack amount here. That's closer. And we can adjust the slope of that attack too by clicking on the dot here. Now another trick is to tweak that wavetable position and really find that sweet spot. That's sounding pretty good. Let's see if we can tweak the FM amount as well. Oh yeah, sometimes it's just finding that correct parameter and hitting it on that sweet spot and you get that sound. Let's make this note a bit longer. We're gonna make it a four bar loop. Now I'm liking the results right here and you can totally end here. This is the basics of doing a foghorn. There's definitely a lot more that you can apply to the foghorn. For example, you can enable a sub oscillator, send it to the direct out. So you now have a stronger bass frequency. You can also sculpt the sound with a little EQ and perhaps some saturation. So under audio effects, we can bring EQ8. And perhaps you can add some saturation to the sound as well. Might want to bring that level down a bit. It is getting hot. So there you have it guys, the basics of the much in demand foghorn sound. Again, there's tons more that you can do to it and perhaps we'll try a little more advanced foghorn sound in the next video. However, I just want you guys to get the basics down. Remember, it's selecting the correct waveform. I like the pulse width modulation waveforms and then applying some FM modulation from oscillator B and then turning on that unison mode, applying some filter modulation and then finally adding some distortion and some reverb. 
So I really want you guys to practice this. It's a very popular sound right now, and it's a very fun sound to play with. So let me know in the comments how you guys do, and let me know what else you'd like to learn in future videos. And remember, let's get the likes up to 500, then I'm gonna give you the preset for free. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. My name is Stranger. Keep practicing, and we'll see you at the next video.